Good morning and thanks very much uh, for joining. It is 8 a.m. Uh, here in Edinburgh, so a little bit of an early start for me. So my name is Marta Krasuska and I'm a research fellow at the Health Informatic Groups at the University of Edinburgh. And for the past uh, two years, I've been involved uh, in an independent uh, scientific evaluation of the Global Digital Exemplar Program. So this is a large scale uh, national digitization program that aimed to um, accelerate the digitization of uh, healthcare in England. And as part of this work, um, our team conducted a consensus building exercise to um, define what is digital excellence in healthcare. So this presentation will mainly draw on the findings from, from that body of work. Before I start, I would like to um, acknowledge the input from all the members of our research team, and that includes uh, colleagues from the University of Edinburgh, uh, University College London, and uh, colleagues from NHS Under and GEM Commissioning Support Unit. Um, so uh, here I would like to just give a brief overview of the English um, healthcare system that is, that is uh, called a National Health Service, so NHS. So NHS has been established in 1948, and it is one of four uh, healthcare systems in the UK, along the ones in Wales, Northern Ireland, and Scotland. Uh, it is considered the second largest uh, healthcare system in the world. Uh, it uh, serves the population of over 55 million people, and in total employs over 1.3 million staff. Uh, it is meant to be free at the point of care for um, English uh, residents of England. So that means that uh, a person in England that goes to their family doctor or receives treatment in a hospital does not pay for that in any way. And um, instead, the NHS is funded through national taxation. And the architecture of the NHS is quite complex, but um, at the core of it is uh, there are acute specialist mental health hospitals and uh, community services. So um, just to brief you, uh, uh, give you a little, a brief overview of the history of digital transformation in the NHS. So the uh, NHS has remained uh, mainly uh, at a low level of digitization until early 2000s when the national program for information technology uh, was uh, introduced. Uh, this was a very ambitious program that aimed to uh, deliver a free uh, paperless uh, NHS. Um, however, it did not achieve its main objectives. And in response to that, uh, the British government uh, commissioned a review to inform the um, further digitization efforts uh, um, in healthcare that is commonly referred to as a walk review. And uh, that was in 2016. And one of the key recommendations that recommendations that emerged from Walker Review uh, is to introduce a phased approach to digitization of the NHS. And that included in the first uh, phase to identify um, hospitals that are already at a relatively high level of digital maturity and to allocate funding to those hospitals so that then these um, mature hospitals can um, share their learnings with uh, other parts of the healthcare system. And this is how the Global Digital Exemplar Program was born in 2017. The Global Digital Exemplar Program, the main aim of that program is to promote digital transformation in the English uh, secondary healthcare system. And the core strategy of the GDE program consists of uh, supporting digital transformation in selected digitally mature hospitals. And these hospitals are called digital exemplars. And uh, the idea is that they um, uh, are characterized by digital excellence. So these global digital exemplars are then meant to uh, share their learnings with fast follower hospitals who are relatively slightly less digitally mature, and then both the global digital exemplars and fast followers hospital share their learnings uh, with the wider NHS. So this was a large program, over 400 million euros of central funding was dedicated to it uh, over five years, and uh, each global digital exemplar hospital received over 6 million euros of central funding, and then the fast follower received about a half of it. Uh, so the focus of the evaluation conducted uh, by our research group was to uh, inform the ongoing digital transformation efforts by feeding back the emerging findings to policymakers. 
uh, over the duration of the program. And one of the key questions uh, that uh, we quickly realized is very relevant to the evaluation is, how do you assess digital excellence and how do you demonstrate progress? So um, what is digital excellence? Uh, at the moment, there is no agreement on how to conceptualize or how to measure digital excellence in healthcare. Uh, what we do know that there is, we, what we do know is that there is no endpoint that constitutes digital excellence, and that there is ever-changing context, priorities, and advancement in technologies. Uh, however, it is also evident that uh, the concept is important and it serves a purpose. Uh, it helps to justify investment. Uh, make the case for further funding. It can also provide a roadmap for digitization efforts. Um, and finally, it can allow benchmarking and comparisons between different parts of the healthcare system. Uh, so one of the key frameworks that come to mind, comes to mind when talking about digital excellence uh, in hospitals and in healthcare uh, is the hems emerm model. So this model evaluates the extent to which electronic me medical records have been adopted uh, in a hospital over eight progressive stages from level zero, which uh, represents uh, virtually no uh, electronic health records presence. And then uh, HIMSS level seven uh, often represent a gold standard for digitization and an aspira aspira aspirational endpoint. And um, the, in the UK, the NHS England has adopted, adapted the hims emra model to develop digital maturity index. Uh, and the digital maturity index have been used as part of the global digital exemplar program to assess digital maturity of hospitals that are taking part uh, in the GDE program. So that brings us back again to the question, how can we advance our understanding of digital excellence? Here, I would like to um, our research team addressed this uh, question by conducting a consensus building exercise uh, to identify a set of technological capabilities that can be used to assess digital excellence uh, in health in hospitals. And the findings from this study have been published earlier this year in JMIR, and this is available uh, if you want to have a look. So the aim of uh, of this Delphi, Delphi study was to develop internationally agreed defined set of technological capabilities to assess digital excellence in hospitals. And for, we used the Delphi technique. Delphi technique is an established consensus building um, approach that uh, allows for um, reaching an agreement uh, between participating experts. And it is often used in an area where there is no uh, large body of empirical evidence of, or there is some level of uncertainty. And the Delphi exercise consists of a series of rounds and in each round experts individually provide their views <clears throat> on a series of statements. And then after each round uh, experts are provided with a feedback that emerged from a previous round, they can then reflect on those, this feedback uh, to uh, further provide their views in the next round of the Delphi exercise. And uh, the, round the, the rounds uh, come to an end if an agreement is reached. So uh, our study was uh, consisted of two rounds and we used digital maturity index as a basis for round one. And in total, 31 international experts took part, and that included experts from um, academic background, uh, clinicians, and industry experts. So uh, through the Delphi study, we've identified uh, an agreed set of 35 technological capabilities, and uh, 20 of those capabilities were um, uh, referred to the capab technological capabilities within a hospital, and the further 15 capabilities uh, were related to uh, communication with other parts of health and care system and uh, with patients and carers. So with regards to uh, technological capabilities within a hospital, uh, those capabilities related to appropriate use um, and administration of medicines within a hospital, and also uh, capabilities related to capturing uh, structured and unstructured data. Uh, and finally, 
uh, capabilities that promoted uh, integration of new emerging technologies um, within the existing, existing uh, systems in a hospital. Regarding the capabilities within a hospital, experts also suggested uh, four uh, new capabilities. And this, these were related to the advancements in electronic medical records uh, and um, prescribing and medicine uh, administration, mainly to improve user experience, uh, and also further integration of new uh, emerging technologies into the existing uh, information systems within a hospital. So there were further 15 capabilities um, that were identified in our Delphi study that were related to communication with other parts of health and care systems and with patients and carers. So that were, these were 15 capabilities and 10 related to communication with other parts of health and care systems and further five uh, communication with patients and carers. So um, of those, we, there were within this categories, there were also two new capabilities that were proposed by experts, and that included a unique patient identifier to use across the entire healthcare system, and the ability to, in, to interoperate with other standard-based external systems. Within the Delphi study, we've also incorporated several open-ended questions uh, to um, examine experts' views um, or to ask experts on their views about the on the digital excellence, and the key key findings from our analysis of the expert responses to those open-ended questions were was that the uh, technology should not be seen in isolation, and that social and organizational aspects um, are equally important to digital transformation and. We've identified the three uh, free aspects of those non-technical um, issues related to digital transformation, and that included organizational culture, uh, workforce, and strategy. So um, our experts indicated that organizational culture uh, that facilitates uh, digital transformation and that promotes digital excellence is, relate, uh, is characterized by uh, willingness to face uh, the new uh, and change the way of thinking and to take risks, a uh, culture that allows innovation, um, understanding of change management, uh, culture free of bullying and harassment, and uh, a leadership that supports digital transformation. So with regards to workforce, uh, the key issue that was um, that emerged from uh, from our analysis was that uh, digital skills uh, across hospital and across the hospital workforce um, is key. And then finally, with regards to strategy, uh, what we found that uh, in order to achieve digital excellence, it's important to include the digital strategy into the overall hospital strategy. So um, just a couple of the uh, limitations of, of our Delphi study. So uh, we are aware that we are aware that Delphi technique um, may have forced a consensus among experts, and also that uh, our Delphi our findings represents a consensus among um, uh, um, health informatics community. But it would also be interesting to investigate a wider views, for example, community members. And this uh, measure has not been applied uh, to, um, to date, so we did not use it to assess digital excellence in any hospitals yet. So um, in conclusion, this, uh, this, um, this Delphi study provides us with an um, agreed up-to-date uh, set of technological capabilities that can be used to describe digital excellence in hospitals. And um, it represents a departure from traditional digital maturity models uh, that assumes progression through predefined steps from a low digital maturity to high digital maturity. And we have also highlighted the role of non-technical aspects of digital excellence, uh, such as work, workforce, uh, strategy, and culture. And um, further, we plan to conduct further work to develop this a set of Te 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 technological capabilities into a full measure. 
here I would like to uh, briefly discuss wider considerations related to conceptualizing and measuring digital maturity or digital excellence in healthcare. So there appears to be a focus on acute hospitals when assessing digital maturity or digital excellence. Uh, but what has emerged from our findings, uh, but also I think generally needs to be considered is that uh, local integration, regional integration and national integration is uh, equally important and it is key to be able to provide uh, integrated delivery and to effectively plan healthcare. And it is also important to remember that the digital transformation occurs in evolving contexts and there are constant uh, changes in uh, technologies, there are changes in priorities. Uh, so there is no uh, one endpoint to digital excellence. Uh, finally, there might also be some tensions between local priorities with regards to digital transformation and uh, digital excellence and national priorities. And um, when thinking about digital maturity frameworks or digital excellence frameworks, it is also important uh, to think what this to consider what this framework will be used for so is it to make a business case uh, is it to justify investment is it to uh, can is it meant to be used to identify weak points where a healthcare setting or a part of a healthcare system is uh, meant to um, address those weak uh, weak points is it to build a strategy for a healthcare setting or healthcare system or is it meant to be used for international comparisons the other wider considerations include uh, the focus of the measuring uh, technical capabilities that can be easily captured, or is it about um, also focusing on wider aspects of digital transformation, such as, uh, as I earlier mentioned, uh, the organizational and cultural factors. And uh, I would also like to draw your attention to other frameworks that can help with uh, capturing the non-technical aspects of digital transformation and that is the technology people organizations and macro environmental framework the TPOM uh, and the NAS framework. Uh, so here are just some key references and uh, with an exception of the uh, bottom uh, reference this is the work that emerged from the global digital exemplar evaluation program. Thank you.